This Thursday and the date is 23rd of July. This is a reading material which is on the page number 40. Sorry, on the page number 41. Please open your book. Open your book. Yes, open your book, page number 41. I want you to read this information with me before starting the activity which is given on the page number 40. It is important for us to read this information first. Stay with me. I'm going to read. It is about the planet. The first is Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system. It is the nearest planet to the sun. It is gray and rocky. Mercury doesn't have any moons. Keep in your mind. Earth. Sorry, after the Mercury, second one is Mars. Mars is a red orange color. It is small, rocky, and lightless. It is also one of the tribe's planets. It has two small moons called Phobos and Tammuz. Earth. Earth is a small and rocky and is the only planet to support life where we are living. Okay? This is the information about our planet. Okay? Earth. Satellite pictures show it is light blue with white clouds. The Earth has one moon. So it's familiar to us. We have only a one. Saturn is a pale yellow. It's famous for its thousands of bright rings. Bright rings and is one of the most beautiful planets in the solar system. Saturn has 53 moons. How many moons? 53 moons that we know of more than any other planet. Come on the next box. In our solar system, eight planets move around the sun. The nearest planet to the sun is Mercury, followed by Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Scientists used to think Pluto was a planet, but it is now called a dwarf planet because it is so small. There are Jupiter with the red heading is 318 times bigger than the Earth. First four planets are the smaller one and the last four planets. Jupiter, you can see on your screen. Neptune is the fourth largest of the eight planets. New moons are discovered every year for Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Neptune has winds that travel at 2,000 km per hour. Heavy pressure. Venus has got poisonous yellow clouds. Okay, let me read for you. I have to read. From here, there are three other known dwarf planets. The sun sits in the middle of the solar system and the planet orbited. The Earth takes 12 months to orbit the sun. How many months? 12 months to orbit the sun. The Earth has one moon, sometimes called Luna by astronomers, and takes less than 28 days. How many days? 20 less than 28 days to travel around the earth. The rest of the information after this I already read for you. Let's go for the next. Come on the page number 40. Hold your pencils in your hand. Come on the page number 40. Page number 40 and hold your pencil in your hand. Yes. Question number one, I'm going to read. How many planets are there in our solar system? How many planets? Simon Ajaz said properly. 
how many planets are there in our solar system? Eight, nine, ten. Write in the chat box. Sadia, write your answer in the chat box. How many? Great. Yes. <coughs> Sorry. Take it on your screen. Yes, great. Come on the next question. Come on the next question. These letters list the order of the planets from nearest to the far, far furthest from the sun. Can you name them? It is written in this form M, Mars, V, Venus, E, Earth. Sorry, M is Mercury, V is Venus, E for Earth, M for Mars, S for Jupiter, S for Saturn, U for Uranus, and N for Neptune. I'm going to give you a line to just keep this sequence in your memory. Just listen to me. M, we know M is stand for Mercury, but keep in mind, how can we remember the sequence of the planets? Listen, my M for my, V for very, my very educated mother just sent us nuts. Keep this line in your mind and you will definitely remember the sequence of the planet. The sequence of the planet. My very M for my, we know M for Mercury, but to remember the sequence, listen to me. My very educated mother just sang us nuts. This is answer. You can see on your screen with the yellow heading, the sequence of the star, uh, planets with the full expir with the full expir sparings you can see. Number three, what orbits the sun? What orbits the sun? The moon, the earth, the universe. What is the right answer? Hurry up. Write in the chat book, Saroj. Hurry up. What orbits the sun? The earth. Number four, what is another name for the moon? What is another name for the moon. We read. We read in the story, we read on the information which is which is given on the page number 41. Yes. Three options are given. Another name of the moon or for the moon. Luna. Number five. How long does it take for the moon to orbit the earth? Three numbers are given, more than 29 days, less than 28 days, more than 28 days. Yes, please tell me, which one? A, B, C, which one? Which one? Hurry up. Write your answer in the chat box, which one is the right answer? Yes. Great, B. Less than 28 days. Okay, number six. Is Pluto a planet? Is Pluto a planet? Yes. No. It is a dark planet. Let me tell you what is the meaning of dark. Abnormally shock human beings. Shock human beings. Okay. Come on the next. Question number three. Yes, on the page number 40. Read about the planets and complete notes in your notebook. Here, it, it's not a science class, so just I just want you <coughs> to read it for the information. No need to write in anything. The list of the planets are on your screen. 
how you will get the information name mercury color gray number of moons nine and aspect small rocky the same like other planets you will read by yourself okay and get the information come on the next question number 4 <coughs> it question number 4 <coughs> let's talk about it which is the smallest planet which is the smallest planet let me give you a hint it is related to the comparative and superlative adjective saroj stop eating this question is related to the comparative and superlative adjective okay which is the smallest planet yes read the information and give me answer which is the smallest planet even a blue box which is on the page number 40 you can get the answer from there read hurry up read it by yourself yes the smallest mercury and it is also nearest planet what about the next which is the nearest planet to the sun oh which is the nearest planet to the sun nearest planet yes mistakenly i told the answer <laughs> mercury okay number 3 number 3 which one is the most beautiful planet of the solar system most beautiful planet the hint is given most beautiful planet yes bright ring thousands of bright ring that planet is famous for its thousands of bright ring the answer is on your screen great look at the next which one is the fourth largest of the eight planet easily you can get the answer on the page number 40 on the page number 41 information is written in last four or five lines read it hurry up read it and make yourself clear about it it will help you in your science subjects as well which one is the fourth largest of the eight planet yes neptune the last one which is the driest planet of all <coughs> sorry driest planet which one the answer is lying on the page number 40 in blue box in blue box hurry up in blue box i'm giving you a hint read and hit the answer mars stay with me and keep writing let's do this complete the sentences with the help of a superlative adjective superlative okay information is on your screen mount everest is dash mountain in the world world it is a, it is a comparison between a mountain in the world in the world it's mean maybe 4 5 6 1000 lakhs i don't know how many months but just tell me yes adjective is given a short adjective is there high high yes <coughs> great the highest mountain in the world look at the next the sahara desert is dash in the world again world world is here it means comparison of all desert it is a comparison of all desert yes the hottest because the length of the adjective is short short 
when the length of a adjective is short the word adjective word is short in comparative we add er in superlative we will add est if the length of the adjective is big having more syllable then in comparative we will use more in the and in the superlative the most number 3 the river nile is that river in the world again see comparison of with the all river in the world yes write your answer in the chat box sir yeah save the time <clears throat> and give me your right answers i am watching people are doing happy to see you keep up the same pace the longest Number four, the Great Barrier Reef is dash reef in the world again. Word. See the word adjective is given. Beautiful. Beautiful. It is clear to us. It is having three syllables. Beautiful. A long adjective. So keep in your mind which word we will use to make it superlative. more or then or the most the most beautiful reef okay number 5 the antarctic is dash place on earth on earth again again the coldest the extreme desert is one of the dash places on earth earth the driest Come on the next. Here you need to focus with comparative and superlative both. Okay, comparative and superlative both. Your work is on your in front of you. Read first question. Options are given. And write your answer in the chat box. Hurry up. Canada is dash. I'm not going to read. You will read and write the answer. Then after that, I'll reveal the right answer to you. Read it for me. I'm not going to read this time. Hurry up. Number one. Hurry up. Hurry up. Don't raise your hand, beta. Don't write. Write in the chat box. Teacher Yamna, if you are here, please allow students to come in the class. It's done, teacher. Okay. Hurry, beta. Canada is dash than China, but Russia is dash country. First comparison between Canada and China. Canada and China. So, what do you think? Which word we will select? Canada is bigger than China. How? It is a short adjective. The word is positive is big. The comparison between two, Canada and China. So I I T R. But Russia is the dash country. It is a comparison between more than two, biggest country. Number three, monkeys are dash, but ants are dash. Monkeys are dash, but ants are dash. Yes, keep writing. Monkeys are smaller, but ants are smallest. Giraffes are the dash land animal. Comparison between all animals. Giraffes are the dash land animal. So which one? Tall, taller, tallest. Hurry up, hurry up! Keep writing, Michelle. Keep writing. Why your face is so sad? Yes, tallest. Number four. Boys usually have dash hair than girls. Comparison between boys and girls. Comparison between boys and girls. Boys usually have dash hair than girls. 
shutter <clears throat> number 5 lamps are dash but the sun is dash lamps are dash lamps lamps are brighter but the sun is brightest come on the next exercise 3 Here you need to choose the right answer. The one I have done for you, you can see on the screen. Tom's car is as big as the biggest his friend. Yes, the one is done. Look at the number two. Who is shorter than, or the shortest person in your family? In your family. Yes. Write your answer in the chat box. Which one? Who is shorter person in your family, or who is the shortest person in your family? Yes, the shortest person. Why? Maybe in your family, the number of people are five, six, seven. So it's more than two. So it is a comparison between people, between the person. who belongs to a one family look at the number c these sofas are more comfortable than ours or these sofas are more comfortable so these sofas are the most comfortable yes comparison yes hurry up more comfortable number 4 my brother is taller than in the class my brother is the tallest in the class comparison between the student of class 4 class 4 blue yes the tallest number e is jason stock older than the yours comparison between your two dogs is chasing stock older than yours yes comparison between two persons the pet comparison between two pets of two persons number f who is the best singer in the world or who is the better than singer in the world read the sentence with these two flow and find out the right option comparison between the singer and the world the best come on the next read and complete again with the superlative adjective picture is on your screen two planets are jupiter and neptune information is related to these yes just read for a few seconds hurry up read for me it is not from your book it is not from your book information is related to the planet but don't look in the book just stay with me and read it hurry up read it read it few seconds only a few seconds Yes. Jupiter, hurry up, read it. I'm giving you a time. I have done a lot of activity with you on the basis of comparative and superlative degree. So now it's your turn. So now it's your turn. Jupiter is the largest planet of all the planets. Comparison among all, it is three eighteen times bigger than Earth. Jupiter has a great red spot, which is a gas storm that has lasted hundreds of years. It is the dash storm ever, ever. 
biggest one swing longest from ever it is also has very fast wind which travel at 643 km per hour let's go for the next neptune is the fourth dash planet fourth dash planet among the rest of the planets yes biggest it is a blue color because of a gas called methane in its atmosphere it is a great spot too but it is dark instead of red neptune spot is the smallest neptune's wings are the dash fastest in the solar system they travel at 2000 km per hour come on the next <clears throat> come on the next for this i want you to come on the page number 38 come on the page number 38 A to F pictures are given on the page number thirty-eight. Page number thirty-eight. Hurry up. Yes. Look at on these pictures. <clears throat> Even my pictures are black and white. I want you to just see the beautiful scenery of these pictures on the page number thirty-eight, and then select correct adjective for these pictures. Number one is done. Hi. Look at the number two picture. Number two picture. It is B picture on page number thirty-eight. It is B picture. What do you think? Which adjective? Dry, hot, cold, long, beautiful. It is about desert. Which adjective clearly describe? Yes. Hurry up. Write your answer in the chat box. Let's save our time. Hot. Look at the number three. Picture C. Picture C on page number thirty-eight. Picture C on page number thirty-eight. Which adjective? Yes. Yes. C. Long. Check out the sequence of the river. Check out the sequence. The length. Number four. Number four. Yes, Peter. Number four. Beautiful. It's reef land. Number five. Number five. Cold. And the rest is. Which word is left? Try. Come on the next. This is your homework. This is your homework. Take out your diary. Take out your diary. I'm giving you a very interesting work. First time in your life. You are going to create your own planet. Your own planet. Give your planet a name. It is up to you. Match some spellings, or take some uh, use some spellings from your name, from your surname, and make a beautiful name and create a beautiful name for your planet. Okay. <clears throat> you will do this in english p copy first you will select the name of a planet and after that talk about its color and the aspects whether it is rocky or cloudy what special about it what special about your planet how many moons has it go it is totally depends on you make a new world make a new fictional planet imaginary planet for you if your diary is good write in the chat box that you have done create your okay okay great thank you so much my dear students this is all for today See you tomorrow. And bye bye. Yes, teacher, you can start me. Thank you for your time. Okay, thank you, teacher Namesh.